after a two-year-long hiatus due to the global pandemic. The Blue Ribbon of Sri Lanka Schools Rugby, the Bradby Shield, is set to make a return this Saturday with the first leg of the 76th Bradby Shield encounter set to be worked out at the Royal Complex. Bradby Shield, contested by two of the elite rugby playing institutions of the country, Royal College Colombo and Trinity College Candy, commenced with Principal of Royal College Mr. E. L. Bradby offering a shield for the annual encounter between the two schools in 1945. It has been an annual fixture since, with the only exceptions being in 1971, where only one leg was played due to civil unrest, while the 2020 and 2021 editions were not played due to the coronavirus pandemic. Royal College are the current holders of the much-fancied shield, having won in 2019 under Tuleb Hassan, while Trinity's last win came in 2014 under Tarinder Ratwate. This year, the first leg of the Bradby Shield is expected to be a very closely contested affair with both Trinity and Royal fielding strong outfits. Royal College, who were the defending champions of the league, had to surrender their league title to Isipatan in the final week of the league, while Trinity College narrowly missed out on a spot in the second round despite showing great potential in the first round. Unlike the previous years, the first round of the school's rugby league saw Royal College take on Trinity College in a league game which was not a Bradby Shield encounter but was contested fiercely by both the teams. Trinity managed to come home with the victory in the last minute of the game with the scores leading 20 points to 21 in favour of the Trinidians. To their unit. So in Premaratna with the inside ball, Royal defence. Weren't fooled, and that is the try. That is the try Trinity College wanted. That is the try Trinity were yearning for. And Royal College is once again coached by old royalist Dushant Leuke. Leuke, who enjoyed a dream debut season as head coach with his alma mater winning the league in his maiden campaign, has once again proved his worth, keeping Royal in the hunt for the league up until the last week. He will be determined to wrap up the 2022 season, retaining the prestigious shield at Reed Avenue. Leuke is assisted by Radhika Hetyarachi as the backs coach of the outfit. Fullback Harsit Pierce will be the man leading Royal College Tuskers. He will have the support of experienced Kavin Sasanga, who is the man to keep an eye out on with the tremendous ability to penetrate the opposition defences with his nimble-footed runs from the midfield. An exceptional utility player, Sasanga can also operate as a halfback and is a reliable kicker from the base. Halfback of the Royal College outfit, Hansaka Higgura has also been a standout performer for Royal this season and can also operate on the wing when required. In the forwards, third row turn lock, Abdullah Yusuf has been a workhorse for Royal College in both lineouts and open play, but his most impressive trait has been his exceptional defensive work, which has contributed to Royal being one of the best defensive outfits this season. Center Tevinu Saparamadu and fullback Nabil Yaya have also been key contributors to Royal's success this season. The Hill Capital outfit will also have one of their alumni marshalling the Young Lions with former national player Kavin the Jayasena as the head coach. This will be Jayasena's first Bradby as the head coach of Trinity College and he will be determined to win back the Bradby Shield for the first time since 2014. Jayasena is assisted by two old boys of Trinity College, Pradeep Basnaik and Tusit Disilva as forwards and backs coach respectively. Wing turn centre, Lidmar Morogoda will be the man leading the Lions this year. Morogoda has not been able to deliver notable performances during the season owing to injuries, but will look to impress at the big stage against their biggest rival at the Bradby. Trinity's deputy and leader of the forwards, Loshika Vijaykorn, is a handful as a ball carrier in open play and provides much needed experience in the set plays. Halfback Shevin Premaratna is another standout performer for the Lions who has impressed with his control over the game. Premaratna is an able kicker from the base and a key component in Trinity's playing structure. The hard running centre, Anuhas Koditoaku, has the ability to penetrate opposition defences at will and will be expected to do damage at Royal Complex. The experienced counter attacking fullback, Kovida Vikramasinghe, who is also the place kicker of choice 
will be detrimental to Trinity's chances of impressing during the first leg. With unmatched rivalry, history, traditions and fanfare, the first leg of the 76 Bradby Shield is expected to deliver edge-of-the-seat entertainment when two of the finest schools rugby teams clash against each other. Catch the action on the first leg of the 76 Bradby Shield live and exclusively on Sri Lanka's number one sports hub www.thepopper.com on 20th of August from 3.45pm onwards.